What game comes to mind when you think of the worst game of all time? Some may think of Anthem, some may think of, you know, Superman 64. If you're a true connoisseur, you might even think about Pimp My Ride for the PlayStation 2. But this game that I'm here to talk about today is so much worse because it is just a failure on absolutely every level. Literally, I, I'm not even kidding, I made it two hours into the game and just could not continue. Sucking shit through a silly straw would be a more enjoyable use of your time than playing this just pile of absolute garbage. I see no reason for this game to exist. If you were to ask the creators, he would probably say that it's something about a political statement about how politically correct video games are becoming, or some sort of, you know, stance against fucking games as an art form and vivid colors. <laughs> And, you know, I don't even know where he's coming from with this, because if you look at the games that came out around the same time as this one, you got games like, you know, The Witcher 3, Metal Gear Solid 5, uh, Bloodborne, Mortal Kombat 10, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Selma, Dying Light, Saints Row, Got Out of Hell, fucking The Order 1886, that game was fucking garbage, man, I forgot about that, maybe I'll do a video about that, Batman Arkham Knight, I mean, like, there's not, uh, like, there's there was a lot of, like, darker-toned games that came out at the time. The only games that were really, like, you know, vivid, flashy, colorful games were kids' games, like Super Mario Maker or Splatoon. Are you really, you really decided to make it just, like, a mass shooting simulator over fucking Splatoon? But I'm not here to talk about the cringy-ass developers because they're the exact type of people you would expect to be making this video game. No, instead I'm here to talk about the cringe aw game itself. This game wants to be the no Russia mission from Modern Warfare so bad. It, it really wants to, like, pull a GTA or a Postal 2 and try and, like, drum up a bunch of controversy for how over-the-top violent and graphic it is, and then sort of just ride that success to the top. But unlike GTA or Postal 2, there's no good game behind this. Let's start with the gameplay. This game is utter repetitive garbage. Every mission is the same. It consists of kill people, Listen to cringy voice line, police show up, kill police, go to next area. That's literally it. Plus, the top-down perspective and black and white on the entire game just makes me feel completely indifferent to the actions that I'm taking, which is not a good thing. You would think that, you know, maybe that was their intention, but no. It's not that I don't feel any sympathy or empathy for these people, it's that I don't care. I, it just, it doesn't feel visceral, it doesn't feel anything. It feels about as visceral as playing a Slither.io game. Not to mention that the game has extremely weird difficulty spikes. For example, in one mission, you have a fucking APC with a turret on it at a train station, and you're just mowing everybody down with ease. There's nobody who can hurt you and nothing that anybody can do to you. But then to end the mission when you have to go through the train station, you're faced up against about... 4,000 army personnel who will gun you down the second you try and do anything. It is actually the least fun I have ever had playing any video game. Not to mention that all the while, you have to listen to the cringy-ass protagonist. And so that's what I want to get into next. The cringe-ass main character. What is important is what I'm going to do. I just fucking hate this world and these human worms feasting on its carcass. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred. And I always wanted to die violently. This is the time of vengeance, and no life is worth saving. And I will put in the grave as many as I can. It's time for me to kill. And it's time for me to die. This is what gave the video its title because this character is straight up like a fucking Shadow the Hedgehog OC. It's it's that bad. It's it's like every 14-year-old edgelord's fucking wet dream. This dude, it, it, he just, he... I'm just gonna play you some voice lines to explain to you just how cringy this man is. Only my weapon understands me. This is more than a killing spree. It's a mission. Can you hear your guardian angel crying? I can. Let me introduce myself. I'm a man of hate and disgust. You reek of weakness. You cunt. Yeah, 
Yeah, so as you can see, it is literally one of the most cringy things you will ever hear in your goddamn life. Getting fucked in the ear with two sticks of dynamite would be more pleasurable than listening to this dude's voice lines. I actually don't know who this game is made for. I really don't. I, I really don't get it. I don't know who could sit down, play this game, and think that it was fun and enjoyable. So like I said earlier, this game is completely trying to bank on controversy. It was originally banned off of Twitch and Steam, although Steam later reinstated the game with an apology from Gabe Newell himself, which, you know, I'm glad that's how Valve is deciding to spend their time. In summary, this game failed on absolutely every level. It wanted to be a controversial game like Postal 2, but unlike Postal 2, it takes itself way too seriously. The main character is unlikable and unrelatable. The gameplay is utterly boring and the stylistic choices make the over-the-top gore and subject matter feel absolutely bland, boring, and pointless. This game fails at absolutely everything that it tries to do, and that's why I say it's the worst game ever. Yes, it is more technically functional than a game like Superman 64, but at least you can get at least, like, you know, 30 minutes of enjoyment out of laughing at how broken that game is. Yes, it has more gameplay, I guess, than a game like, you know, Pimp My Ride for the PS2, but Pimp My Ride for the PS2 was an absolute cash grab, and if you were expecting anything out of that game, it, I feel like it's kind of your own fault. This game took itself absolutely so seriously it, it, that it's just aged like fucking milk. It, it is the least amount of fun I've ever had doing anything, to the point where I have only ever written two Steam reviews, and one of them was for this game. It is so absolutely bad. But, uh, that's it for this video. I got done with work, and I honestly just felt like complaining about something. That's why the mic quality is ass, because I'm just using my headset. I didn't feel like setting up my microphone. This is a really impromptu video. But, uh, anyway, I'll see you guys later.